Hi everyone, Gabriel Moses Lee here. Today, Apple released iOS 16.3 to the public. Now, this is all out all iOS 60 supported devices, which have an iPhone 8 or to be up to the iPhone 14 Pro Max to receive this update. Now, along with this, Apple also released iOS 16.3, which I just said, iPad OS 16.3, uh, Watch OS 9.3. HomePod OS 16.3, we don't know that got, that got put from Apple side or not, but I do know TV OS 16.3 has been put. TV, uh, Mac OS 13.2 Ventura is also out as well. For the software, iOS 15.7.3 and iPad OS 15.7.3 has been out. And iOS 12 devices, if you still have those, are iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 5S iOS 12.5.7 has been out as well, so tons and tons of update today. So, these updates come about 5.22 GB on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Not right now, I'm recording this on my iPhone 10 now, so it's about the same size or just a few gigabytes difference. So, it says that this wallpaper includes uh, this update includes a new Unity wallpaper on a Black History and Culture in celebration of Black History Month. Security keys for Apple ID and includes other enhancement bug fixes security updates for your iPhone so that is what's stated in the release note so the build number for 16.3 is 20D47 so what's new in 16.3 is advanced data protection is not new it was new in 16.2 that I showed it before but right now it's available worldwide or globally when 16.2 is out, this feature was already there, but it's only for the US or UK or either just for a few selected countries only. So Apple has released a new feature, Security Key. This is a Fido certified Security Key. It's the party hardware that you can use to verify your identity when you sign in. And it states that stronger account security, which asks uh, Physical security keys provide strong protection against phishing and unauthorized access too, which means if a security key USB C can't use lightning, but if you do have those that is lightning, you can plug it in and set it up or either put it at the top of your iPhone or I mean the back of your iPhone to set it up. So it's an NFSC key, you can set it up. So you need two of those to set it up. So Apple has uh fixed a few bugs, you know, in uh, in 16.3 first let me just show you you see that the new unity wallpaper so you go to add a new wallpaper scroll all the way to unity this is the new one unity black red orange green blue purple pink cream gray and then along with this new time font and then new colors and tone as well so that's how it will look like so so that is very cool, you know, that added new wallpapers for the Unity separate so Black History Month. And another thing is the two factors of this uh authentication, the two security keys that I told you. Then support for HomePod second generation. So that to release this update to support the HomePod gen second generation. Imagine SOS requires start holding side button with the volume up, volume down button, and then releasing it in order to prevent that given metric cost remains if we go to settings settings then if you go to emergency sos you have call with hold and call with file presses so call with hold and i just call quietly you know so if you have a call and hold i can't talk it that on but if i show maybe on my 13 pro max if i go to the same thing if I go to settings, go to emergency SOS, I can call with call with presses, call with find button presses. That's how it should look like. So because by this phone doesn't have a SIM card, I can show you this on my main phone. So I say call with four. If you consciously hold the side button and enter the volume button, a counter begins and an alarm sounds after counter if you if if you release the button iPhone will call emergency services. Then it says that if you rapidly press the side button five times, a countdown will begin and an alarm sound when the countdown ends. iPhone will call emergency services. So it means that if you press the side button either way, 
will count down. So a loud sound will trigger something that started you right there. <laughs> so that's basically what it will sound like if you uh, activate emergency SOS, which I'm not going to do that. But a countdown after that will trigger. And a new toggle right there says call quietly, which I don't have it on my 13 Pro Max on my 10 r Maybe do the region purpose, but I'm not sure. So say that this is an issue in free form where some drawing strokes create a pencil or your finger may not appear on shared uh, boards, which means if we go to free form, let me just go to free form. So this is the first time I'm putting on my time on. Basically, if you draw, and maybe I just add a pen right here, I draw. It sometimes won't work if you use an Apple Pencil, you know, on that. So that should that should work right now. So, uh, and I think it's an issue where the wallpaper may appear black on the large screen, which means if you use like the focus mode and link your wallpaper, they turn it off, or maybe you try to I don't either way that it appears black that should be fixed in this update and this is the fix is an issue where the horizontal line may, may temporarily appear while waking up the iPhone 14 Pro Max which means uh, if you use it always on display after that you turn it off try to wake your phone you see the horizontal lines appear for a few seconds that has been an issue in 16.2 so that should be fixed in 16.3 so say that uh, fix an issue where the home and lock screen widget does not accurately display home app status which means we have the home kit and then with the new home port OS 60.3 they activate the temperature sensor on the home port so yeah. or maybe anything of your home automation you have at home that is not showing in, in, uh, how should I say it shows incorrectly but right now it should show correctly so I say that address an issue where Siri may not respond properly to music requests so if you ask Siri like you use the phrase hey then the word Siri ask for music and then it says you want maybe this song it gives you another song so right now this update should be fixed as I said we resolve an issue where Siri requests in CarPlay may not understood correctly which means we ask like maybe directions to certain places it gives you wrong directions so you should fix in this update so <clears throat> I will just show you the git bash scores for my uh, 10R, I scored 817 for single call, 2190 for multi call. So I've got to show you my 13 Pro Max. Let me just unlock my phone. Let me just go to Git Bench. Let me find Git Bench. I scored 1725 for single call, 4756 for multi call. So that's actually quite good, you know, coming for 60.3. So if I go show you my battery life on my iPhone XR, seeing that I just I use my uh, 13 Pro Max more today. Go to settings. Battery health was still 100 percent And today I got 41 minutes of screen off screen on time, 49 minutes of screen off time the day before. 3 hours and 54 minutes of screen off time, 1 or 7 minutes of screen off time. So actually it's quite great. I'm almost using 40% of my battery. This is the day after 3 hours and 50, 35 minutes of screen off time, 2 hours and 40 minutes of screen off time. So actually quite good. So let me just show you uh, iOS 50.7.3 uh, bug fix and also 16.3 as well. So if you go to Apple security website, we just go out right there. Go to Go to Apple security website. Apple security updates. I should just click on iOS sixty point three. There's tons of bug fix, about twelve bug security updates. You know that's quite good. So if we go to well, sorry about that. Let's just go on let's go to iOS 12.5.7 first. So it says that WebKit, so is the impact is processing metrically craft web content may lead to optically code execution. Apple is aware of the report that this issue may be 
actively exploited against version of iOS released before iOS 15.1, and the tight confusion issue is was addressed with improved state handling. So that has been resolved with 12.5.7. So with uh, iOS 50.7.3, you have two kernel, one mail exchange, one map, one screen on, additional knowledge. So actually, should we install iOS 60.3 seeing that there are 12 security uh, update patches? Yes. Should we install iOS 50.7.3 for four device? Yes. If you have an older device that doesn't run iOS 14 or 13, should we install iOS 12.5.7? Absolutely. So all of this right now. Now this does not impact anything uh, by the way, so if I show you my battery health for my iPhone 10 now, let's go back, battery, battery health 100%. So look at the last 10 days, today I use about well, 60% of my battery, for 4 hours and 22 minutes of screen on time, 1 hour and 20 minutes of screen off time. Now this is my backup phone, so the battery can relatively better, you know, be here and there to devices to devices. So to expect like, major battery you know for 16.3 it may be the same to 16.2 i'll say that it's much better with 16.3 so let me just show you the build number for all the devices so let me just go to my go to here so we got so the build number for 15.7.3 is 19h307 so scroll down we also got iPad OS 15.7.3. There we go. Watch OS 9.3 is 20S648. Then there's no TV OS. I think they, that is put. So, yeah. Maybe Apple will release it tomorrow or Thursday until they find, they'll, they'll put it back. You no, know, to release it. Maybe they put it, they put it out. It's because there's some bugs they find last minute. So, to patch it and then uh, release it. They don't want to, you know, don't have something wrong in their end then not able to release it so for mic os 13.2 2 2d 4 9 so yeah so that's it for ios 16.3 i would say that there's, there's tons of update you know the new wallpaper that you just see and much more so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon